Hi, I'm Alistair Benn and you're watching Expressive Photography. I'm very fortunate to live out here on the beautiful west coast of Scotland, surrounded by lochs and rivers and forests and mountains, and uh, surprisingly this morning, a little bit of sunshine. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about my new filter system, which is the Case Revolution filters. As many of you know, expressive photography and the mantras that I do tend to teach are about understanding luminosity, contrast, colour, atmosphere and geometry. But there are two things that we absolutely have to nail when we're in the landscape, apart from the obvious composition. Those are polarisation and time, shutter speed. Whenever you have something moving, how it is moving, how much it blurs, how much flow and motion there is in it, is a fundamental part of the aesthetics of your composition and therefore your expressive articulation. I've been very fortunate to have been working now with case filters for a number of years and have used various systems over the last uh, few years as well, most notably the most recent, the case armour system, which was a magnetic holder with a polarizer and some graduated filters. This is now just a fully magnetic system and consists, or well, the Pro Kit consists of a circular polarizer, which I have here already mounted on my uh, 45 to 100 f4 lens with a magnetic lens cap already on there. There's also a 3, a 6 and a 10 stop. And as you can see, they're color coded, so they're easy to recognize with red being the beautiful 10 stopper here. They come in this very lightweight kit, this very lightweight case, and it just sits quite easily in my bag without taking up too much space. In this video, I want to look at some of the images I've been making over the last week or so with my new Fuji GFX 100S uh, in conjunction with the case revolution filters. I think it'll be quite obvious when we see some of the photographs that understanding the power of uh, polarization is fundamental and I am just delighted with these filters because of their clarity, their lack of colour cast, they're incredibly durable and incredibly lightweight. So let's jump back into the studio and we'll talk about some of these features in conjunction with some of the photographs I've been taking and um, yeah, it's an honest and un impartial uh, review. These are my thoughts. Uh, I'm not having to show this video to Case before I publish it. Uh, and I can pretty much say what I want, which I will. Um, so here we go. Let's see what I have to say about the new Case Revolution filters. So filters are one of those things that we all use as landscape photographers. I do remember the very first time I bought a set, which was about 2004, and I just didn't know anything about them and I didn't know how to use them. But I do remember getting a polarizer and I do remember very profoundly the impact that that, that had on flowing water and reflections. If we look at a few of the photographs that I've been making here recently, and as I said, these are all with the Fuji GFX 100S and the Case Revolution filters. So these are fairly recent images in the last couple of weeks. With things like this, the, the scene is so detailed and there's so much reflected light panning around. It was so important for me to polarize to make sure that I could reduce the reflections where I didn't want them and emphasize them where I did. One of the things I love most about the GFX are its amazing lenses and how sharp and detailed they are. And I think it's really important when we're using filters to realize that putting a cheap, uh, low quality filter in front of an expensive piece of glass basically makes the expensive piece of glass a rubbish piece of glass. And I think it's very important for us to always factor in the cost of some of these things like filters or a steady tripod into any budget that we do have for our photography gear. This photograph to me is the perfect combination of beautifully polarized. The shutter speed just diffuses that water in the background and the lack of any color cast coming from the circular polarizer that I was using. Shutter speed in the landscape is a really important thing to get right. Here uh, I was shooting almost directly into the sun using the Case Revolution circular polarizer to take all of the reflection off the surface of the water here. It's quite dark peaty water anyway, but managing to get rid of all of those reflections from the sky that were above me and just allowing the very, very high uh, contrast, uh, beautiful little streaks of light 
flowing over the surface of the water there to make this quite abstract photograph. Taken at the same location on the same day, you can see how bright that light is shining over the surface of the water there. And I'm using the polarizer to make sure that I'm just cutting away the reflections, particularly from these areas here and in here, just to make sure we get the maximum contrast and allowing the shutter speed to do all the talking here. And finally, this is another one taken in very, very bright light, uh, shooting into the sun again and tons and tons of contrast and using a polarizer. And actually this was using the six stop ND filter as well, just to make sure, because it was so bright that the uh, shutter speed was super fast without it. If you look at one of the photographs that I made uh, this morning, this is it without the circular polarizer and you can see how much reflected light there is just panning around off the surface there and all over the rocks. One of the beauties of a circular polarizer is that ability to rotate the filter and get as get as rid of get rid of as much of the reflected light as we want sometimes getting rid of all of it and you can see here um this has got virtually no reflected light in it at all somewhere in between and the actual final worked version does show that i've used uh, a couple of different exposures with varying amounts of polarization so this is polarization blending if you will so I've got rid of the reflected light where I don't want it, but I've kept some of it to allow myself to be able to paint in a little bit of extra detail and contrast just to help with the depth of this photograph. The Case Revolution Filter Kit is a really tidy little package. It's quite a small box. And in here we have the circular polarizer, the three stop, six stop and 10 stop ND filters. The main thing to remember with these is that there is no color cast from the filter itself. The detail and sharpness of your lens isn't being compromised. The other thing to remember is that when we're using different lenses, and this one is my 45 to 100, the magnetic ring that holds, uh, that attaches to the front of the lens there, and I have one for each of my lenses here, uh, the magnetic lens cap, of course, just snaps right onto that thing, very firmly, I may add. But the filter ring on the my wide-angled lens, so my 20 to 35 millimeter lens, is actually recessed down. It screws into the the barrel of the the top of the the lens there, and becomes uh, largely lower than the outside edge of the lens, which allows the bevel of the magnetic lens cap to flop straight in onto the front of the lens. Obviously when you're using an ND filter on top of a polarizer, we don't want to be introducing any vignetting. We don't want to be able to see the filters when we're using our widest lenses. And I think that's a wonderful feature. Using these in the field is a joy. They're nice and light. The magnets are super strong and and hold on to the front of the lens very, very firmly. Um, I really like that. Whenever I'm out in the landscape, I don't want any barrier between myself and making photographs. I want to see the compositions that I want to make and I want to be able to use my equipment in a fluid and free way without having to worry about it, without worrying if it's going to break or break down. Um, and in all the time I've been using case filters, I haven't actually broken one yet, which is quite a miraculous thing. There's not a single scratch or ding on any of my case equipment. And I think that's testimony to its durability. As I said to you right at the beginning of this video, I am a case ambassador and I've been using case filters for many years now. But this review is impartial. Yes, they sponsor me and <laughs> give me gear. However, I do strongly believe in it. I, before I even agreed to become a case sponsor, a, a sponsored case professional, I wanted to use the equipment for a prolonged period of time. I've used all sorts of different filter uh, manufacturers over the years with varying degrees of success. And ultimately I have stuck with case and I am delighted with the quality and the durability and the lightweight nature of the kit. I put a couple of discount codes in the description here if you wish to purchase any case filters, uh, whether you're in the United States or here in the UK or Europe, 
you can click on those links below depending on which one is applicable to you to get a discount off uh, any of the filters that you may wish whether it's the magnetic ones or the the armor system or even a traditional holder and uh, grads etc uh, I hope you find this useful. I know that expressive photography is about uh, some of the philosophy and psychology of creativity and phot photography. And I think it's very easy to think, oh, well, Alistair's now doing gear reviews. Uh, he's obviously selling out, but that's not the case. Uh, I use my equipment hard every day and I do get requests from people to review various pieces of equipment that I do use. So this is just a fundamental part of the YouTube channel here. If you want to dive into expressive photography, then please subscribe to the channel and give us an old thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Dive into the uh, comments and ask any questions you might have about any of the equipment or topics I raise on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I do very much appreciate it. And I do hope that you enjoyed this short review of the new Case Revolution Filters.